Hello and welcome to episode 75 of my Two Worlds tutorial Let's Play series. This uh, episode will be on exploring, continuing to explore the southern roads down here and maybe going to Gorgamat Gamma or the Fireclaw Tower perhaps. Um, but I want to try and explore these roads. Before that though, in the last episode I mentioned about the skills that I was missing down here for archery. Well, as luck would have it, uh, where I ended the last episode, the actual archer I needed stood over there. Um, before that though, there's a quest here that I can complete with this guy who wants dodo feathers. So let's start by doing that. Molly will be praised. You have returned with feathers, I hope. Here are your feathers. I just met your wife and let it slip about our business. She screamed at your name a lot. <laughs> Malia's eyes? I am wifeless. How could you? Nay! <laughs> <laughs> Even a mercenary may jest now and then. Forgive me. Malia's bunions! A cruel jest indeed. But my relief is great. Uh, can you do me another favor? I have had my fun. <laughs> and now you wish revenge, eh? Hey, what do you want of me? Rigwell's messenger is not reliable. Return here on the morrow. I shall give you the arrows. And you simply take them to Rigwell. How does that sound, my jesting friend? Uh, who is Rigwell? He deals in weapons and armor. He is in one of the military camps along the Gone. The Orc War is good for him. And... Okay. Dodo feathers are very strong. Mm, May your well. aim be true. Okay, so Arrow Maker is the quest. Look at that gold. 4,000 gold. Not that I need it. Right, now to the trainer. Talk to him. Traveling far, how would that the best the Brotherhood has to offer? How to disarm? What would all this? I will take ten. Okay, so let's see. Have uh, teach me how to shoot with several arrows at once. This skill is a rare one, and few have ever truly mastered it. But it will be worth the effort. You can destroy even a strong group of opponents before they even reach your position. Well met indeed. There we go, I've learnt multi-arrow. The bow is a power may have. If you wish, how much will my prize? I'm not sure I want to learn them all. Uh, teach me how to pierce armor of all kinds. An understanding of the weak spots in armor will give you a valuable advantage against heavily armored opponents. Oft times, it will be your sole argument in a fight. And there we go. Traveling far. How it? The what would all? I would. Um, teach me how to disarm. No, I don't want to disarm them because then they drop the weapon and I want to sell that weapon. Blind opponents from a distance. There is no greater danger in battle than to lose your orientation and be unable to detect an attack. This skill has been forbidden in tournaments and chivalrous contests, but I teach you survival, not court games. And there we go. So let's have a look. I suppose I could learn that. Um, disarming arrow. I, I really don't need the money anymore, so it doesn't matter if I they drop their weapons. So yeah, let's just learn them all. The boat may. If you, how much my pro. Uh, A well-aimed arrow can render your enemy defenseless. <laughs> what chance has a warrior if his hand is torn with a ragged wound? And there we go. So now if I look. I've learnt them all. Um, so that's an active skill. So I don't really. I just wanted to passive shoot my bow. I don't want to have to load up skills. So there isn't any passive ones there. Um, let's do my hit points up another thousand. So let's do my vitality. That's 6,000. And I've still got 69 p 
points. Uh, let's do now my damage for my bow. Uh, let's see if we can increase that a bit. Nine thousand. Let's do hit points another thousand. I want to try and actually get my hit points to ten thousand. There's seven thousand. I've got thirty four points left. I'm not really using magic much, uh, so it's them two really I'm focusing on. Um, I suppose I could do this a bit more, get that maybe to ten thousand. Looking good, there we go, that's used up a load of them points. Maybe, can I do these anymore? Lock picking's fine. And no. Uh, passive skill parry. Oh, I'll do that, I think, why not? I like doing the passive ones where you don't have to actually activate them. That's also quite nice, uh, but I do want to save some. Do the magic a bit more. There we go. I'll max out all the magic ones and then I'll start on the lower. Right, okay, so we've got some hit points, we've got more damage, and we. I've learned high level skills for the magic schools. Okay, time to go find the teleport and then we can head south to continue exploring the southern roads. Right, let's have a look at the map here. What's that? Oh no, that map. Okay, there's the teleport outside the gate. Hey there. Looking for something? Ah, something else I wanted to do as well is I've been gathering up all the different gems. I've got so many of this now. I know as soon as I do this, I'm going to find a bit of bow, but I may as well do it. Ah, except I need lightning because it's already got lightning damage. That's a nuisance. Yeah, no, I can't. Oh well, I'll do that in another episode then. Always welcome here. I need to apply all my lightning I can find. In fact, let's just head back quickly and do that. Got teleports in both directions. This force, and it's the lightning eye. That's coal. Oh, that's the lightning, yeah. Let's see what we can get the lightning up to. all the rest of them later right okay so we got some lightning extra lightning damage with our bow now which is cool okay so we head back now to the teleport I dropped on the floor Aha. and 
we can continue on along this road. Um, but I notice there's. Oh no, so let's go along this one here, see if there's any. My bow ready. If there's any hidden points of interest, cave or Ah, what is this? Orc outpost. Ah, look at that. Hidden away. What's there? Greet the gods. Oh. Yeah, we do some good damage now. We Let's have a look. Definitely do some good damage. Like that lightning effect as well, actually. Rather cool. Oh, and there's a spawn in that rock. He didn't really need to practice, did he? Oh, a couple of chests, I looked. So. Oh, I don't think I've seen that. Oh, Poison Blade. I don't think I've seen that spell before. And heal. Closed. Yeah, it's really nice stuff. Oh, look at that. Um, what I could do is drop these items take up so much space. There we go. I'll leave them items in there. Right, so that's this bit mapped out now. And I'll carry on doing the road now. Ooh, Cyclops. I love that lightning effect. Flesh golem now. Some interesting creatures down there. Oh, that's a good shot. Giant's Head Cave. Ah, well, that's where we can go and explore. And that's what I'll call this episode. So it's just here, and it's going to be full of tough critters, no doubt. Aha! How dark!
Scullies. That's for you. I think I killed all of them just with the lightning damage on my weapon because I think I must have had the wrong arrows equipped. But that's cool that I didn't have to swap my that's arrow interesting. arrows over. Oh, what is that zombie? So. Is that a me and Matt? Wow. Look at that nasty creature. Me and Matt. Ooh, what's that? Sneaking up on me. This cave is certainly full of creatures. Two drops, a nice loot. Check when my pocket is not full. Oh, his chest is open. Interesting. Right, I can use that to store big bulky stuff. And that's worth a fortune. I think so I'm going to sell that. I'm not going to put that in the trunk. Sell that. Oh, upgrade. Very nice. Now I'm going to stick to the left. If I come in there, go this way. Best. Just a little room. Room with a chest. Necromant. Prepare to fight. Ouch. 
poison. Get choosy now. I've got so much. Let's money. have a look. Just here. Here then. And just two zombies in there. Right, so that's this cave done. Giant's head cave, I think. One of the reasons I like exploring all of the roads and the countryside, the wild, the, the, the wild areas, just in case there's caves or stuff. Cause always got interesting creatures. And nice loot. Okay, carry on along this path. Yeah, giant's head cave. Oh, that was that orc outpost. So let's carry on along this for. Oh no, well I've got to take these orcs out. Gamma. <laughs> They can shoot me for further than my body will go. Die quickly. We'll get closer. Claw quiver. Sounds not. Nice. It's quite good damage.
Oh, lovely. So my bow's 825. 8.51. What's that? All right, let's go back to the road. Going to the right. Oh, look, let's do that bit. Find that giant's head cave. to a shrine nothing else here oh except for some more gamma orcs what do we have here Let's see. I take the potions because they stack and that will sell well. Heal up. Big and nasty. Cyclops. Oh, that's a good shot. Oh, foggy land down the hairs. Something else ahead of me. Oh, orcs, by the looks of it. These are good experience. Gamma orcs. I do like that lightning damage. Oh wow, is that the time I'm ready? Let's do looting these. Oh, that's a shame. Same bow. Oh. Okay, right, so. We'll carry on 
exploring this area in the next episode which is all the way down south i'm going to actually go down that path in the next episode uh, backtrack and go down there and then head to this fireclaw tower wherever you are in the world god bless you and keep you safe thank you for watching and have a fantastic day goodbye